welcome Tangle friends. As you know, if you've been following my channel, I have been doing a lot of flowers and creating flowers of my own lately so that I can use them on this bathroom door that I plan to tangle. But if you have flowers, you need leaves. So we do have a nice array of leaves to use in the Zentangle world, like toodles and poke leaf and my own spike. But I saw a design on my backpack that is a very Zentangle-like backpack that um, I'm stepping out, so it's not really my design. I'm changing it up a little bit, obviously, but it's this here. It's a leaf, and it kind of looks like a mitt, like a mitten or a mitt, uh, oven mitt. So I am naming it Mitzi, but also it has a double meaning for me because Mitzi is the name of my host family mother here in Austria. Unfortunately, she died, um, but she was an amazing gardener and she just could make anything grow. So I always think of her every time I'm out in my yard, uh, tending to the flowers, tending to the plants, and that's why I wanted to honor her with this mitt-like leaf. I did step it out and I'm gonna be posting that here too at the front of the video so that you can uh, check it out. I'm only gonna be using black and white today and I've got a Zentangle tile here as well as just your regular tools for black and white, an 01 Micron pen, a 2B pencil from Tombow, my Tortillon, a kneaded eraser in case I need to lift. And I'm gonna grab a, a PN and maybe a point five this is a point five stettler pigment liner that is thicker so that if i show you my variation uh, i can fill in my my lines faster this is what the pattern looks like there are several different variations as you can see and this is how it could look in a um, daily tangle a daily tile done totally the zentangle way with no planning in mind i did use it in this last tile that i worked on i have a, a bit of a variation there it's not quite as i don't know voluptuous <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with our black pen I thought it would be interesting to put this in kind of at an angle. I always start at the bottom so I can see and know where I'm going. So I'm going to just do kind of a large arc like that. And then I'm going to, as we do with Spike, I'm going to pull that tip back into an aura line all the way down. And then we're going to make our leaf shape which I start here at the top. I'm gonna to go a little further down because this is gonna be the jump off point for our curly cue at the top. So I'm just gonna bow out like we do with so many of our leaf tangles and then come off of it and bow back down like that. I'm gonna start at the tip here and we're gonna do a thinner side this way. You can stop here, you can stop there, you can, you can vary that. The next step would be to make our arc within this leaf form. It's going to sort of follow this shape here. See how that parallels the belly of the leaf here. And then I do one aura line, make a little space, do another arc, or that line, do another arc, and then one more that we'll fill in. And this whole center part is something that you can play around with that will be really fun for you to experiment with different designs in here. I'm doing sort of a henna-like henna design. As you can see, I'm going to weight these corners to make this almost look like a sunflower up there. You can add some hash lines in here or not. And then this area here, I'm going to do something similar to 
our crescent moon but I'm going to start instead of with the ladybug I'm going to be starting and using this line as a guide to arc down drive up arc and come back down and then I'll fill it in with my ladybugs and you can again play around with making them more rounded and high more flat and I like to put a little dot if you've left enough space between those arcs it's just a little bit more decorative and then this line here I'm going to get my 05 I mean 0.5 and I'm going to fill that one in. Then we come back and we're going to just do our veins um, that go like this. Just like I do with Spike. I'm just arcing them out. And again, this is where you can play around. You can make these arced lines closer together, far apart more arced you can also make them flat i'll show you some of my variations and then using this this line here i'm going to arc across from it with the same kind of orientation going all the way the length of the leaf And that would be Mitzi. <laughs> now we can do some polishing and some finishing touches, which include, for example, weighting these lines here a little bit. If you choose to, I like to kind of weight this and really emphasize that little tip. Actually, it's not quite done yet either because we want to put that fun curly cue on the end. And I usually don't weight this. I just weight the outside line. I don't usually, sometimes I do, don't usually weight these bowed lines. And then for shading, <clears throat> it's pretty simple. Just like with Spike, we're going to shade along the midrib here. Add some graphite there on either side. And then I'm going to put some along the arc. So this kind of makes it recede into that leaf shape as if it's like nested in there. And then I like to put a little bit here to emphasize the, the roundness of that part of the leaf. So we're going to blend away from the shading. And if you want to lift areas, just use your kneaded eraser, but make sure to go back in and blend it again. that is Mitzi. Now I'm going to draw it again on this side and I'm going to show you a fun variation and I won't talk so much. So if you'd rather not bow your lines here, you can just make them straight by just choosing that little dent and drawing a straight line down. And then in this case, I'm going to make them a little closer together, the lines. 
so you can leave that those lines further apart but I think I'm going to just go right in the center and have them because I'm going to do some stripes and it goes better with the fine line work over here now I'm going to get out my larger pen and just go and fill out every other set of parallel lines to make stripes. I think we call that beetle juice. Now you can save out that shimmer here in the middle, leaving it white. Or you can go back in with your jelly roll, which I think for time's sake, that's what I'm going to do. It's a little bit more refined that way. So you can also do striping in here, but I kind of like this look where the leaf look like the leaf looks like looks like it's folding back to create a, a different like the, the underside is a different pattern. Uh, here we have examples of doing both the inside and the outside part. So you can see it's really fun either way. And then the shading would be the same. The striping is nice. It's a forgiving graphic trick. If your line work is not really good, you can always clean it up with that stripe. And then I would take my jelly roll in this case and give it a little shimmer. How fun is that? So this works really well with other flowers, obviously a really pretty one to mimic this design in here would be to add a henna drum. So when I started out, I had, had my, the only intention I had was to show you this one leaf. And here I am <clears throat> just enjoying my zentangling and building off of everything, just the zentangle way. So have fun with it, how you build your tile, how you put the background in, what you do there. And then of course you can add all kinds of things out there, a little more, uh, more of these to mimic that swirl. So I did want to show you what I did here because this was the only thing that I did plan. I started this whole page with these mitzies, just going undulating one here, one here, up and down. So I, I oriented them in opposite directions. So this, I thought this would be a really pretty thing to do on a bookmark because you can go really long with it. Here you can kind of see it better because I didn't shade it. Uh, this one's a little bit different, but that's the idea to just divine them. Here you can make almost like a found about, you know, building a stock that way. Here I actually made some stems coming off of each other. It's really fun to just make them go in different directions, make different sizes, stripe some, don't stripe some. I can see this would be really fun in color. But I thought I would just keep it more simple today. So have fun with Mitzi and show me your work. 
If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and my uh, website. But I'd also like to say, if there is a tangle out there that you're struggling with that you'd like to learn how to do, um, please let me know in the comment section or email me through my website and I will try to cover that for you. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next week.